Hi everyone, I'm Juliana. And I'm Christoph. Welcome to another Fun Maths Challenge. How's the Royal Ascot, Christoph? It was really good fun. I won two bets, so all in all, a very successful day. Well, let's see if you're able to work out the maths behind horse racing. I hope I am. Let's see how it goes. There are 20 horses racing and you can assume they're all equally likely to win. If I bet on two horses, what is the chance of having at least one horse placing on the top three? Well, that's quite tricky, but let me think about it. Okay, so, just draw a horse to help illustrate the problem. You have to draw 20 horses then. Oh, well, let's just draw one to start off with. Or two, since we're betting on two. Let's give it some eyes. That was slightly off. Anyway. Well, what are the different scenarios? You can have no horse placing on the top three, one horse placing on the top three, or two horses placing on the top three. Oh, yes, sorry. So there are three different possibilities. There's either zero horses in the top three, one horse in the top three, or two horses in the top three. Exactly. So which one are we looking at in this question? So we're looking for the possibility of having at least one horse placing in the top three. That's right. So it means uh, one horse placing on the top three or... Or two horses in the top three. For probability, we know that all the different scenarios will add up to a probability of... One. Exactly. If we just want to find the chance of having at least one horse or two horses placing on the top three, we can do one minus... Minus the possibility of it not happening. Which is no horses placed on the top three. Okay. What is the chance of having no horses placed on the top three? Uh, I suppose instinctively I want to say 18 out of 20. Hmm, not quite. Let's look at the horses um, one by one. If you want that horse not to be placed on the top three, then the chance will be... Um, not one... Oh, for the first horse, that would be a 17 in 20 chance? Yes! That's the first horse that's not in the top three. What about the second horse? You don't want it to be in the top three either. It would be 17 out of 19. But there aren't 17 spaces left. 16 out of 16 19. 16 out of 19 because there are only 16 spaces left for horses not in the top three. And that will be 19 horses racing because we've already taken out the first horse. Right, okay. And then the pattern just continues. So um, then it will be... Wait, 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 wait. We're only betting on two horses, so we don't uh, need to continue this pattern. Hold your horses, guys! <laughs> Okay, so what do we do with these two fractions? Um, so just to recap, these two fractions depict the likeliness of the horses, of each horse not coming amongst the first three. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So we've got two horses in the picture to represent that. And they're unhappy horses because obviously they want to be in the top three and not being in the top three makes them sad. So, what do we do with these two fractions if we want both cases to happen? Times one by the other. Exactly. So, if we multiply them, so multiplying 17 over 20 by 16 over 19. So, this actually means both the horses won't be in the top three. But the question is asking for the chance of having at least one horse in the top three. 17 times 16 is 22. Uh, 20 times 19 is 380. But this is not the actual probability that we're looking for. So what should we do with this answer? So we minus uh, 272 from 380 and then put that on the top of the equation instead yes, of 272. Yes, so what you mean is one minus this because this means the two horses are not placed on the top three but we do want the horses to be placed on the top three. Can I do this in my head? One hundred and eight over 380. Bingo! You got it! And Woo! roughly a probability of... Um, 0.28.